we know there is no lie to, to, to the fact that the human body represents the, the, the mainstay of, of drag. So if you deal with the human body from a position standpoint, you've reduced the amount of potential drag. It's the rider that makes the difference and the way the rider no sits on top of the bike. Anybody with your credentials that we've yeah. run into, basically that's we'll, their... We'll say the same thing. That's yeah, the first thing they'll it's, say. It's, it's, yeah. it's, an, it's an obvious conclusion to draw. And so now we're looking at not only the rider's position on the bike, but also the bike itself and what extra that can bring into the equipment. And I think this year we're going to pay... Uh, we're going to pay homage to the last percentage uh, of the of the aero equation, which is the frame, uh, even more so than we did in the past. So, it's been a great bike for a long time. Yeah. Like, it needs a facelift. Guys, let's be honest. Yeah, that's that's one reason. That's the yeah. major. It's time. The major reason. Yeah, it's time. It's, it's, it's had its time. Yeah. And and the reality is that the consumers want a more aerodynamic frame, and so we're going to give it to them. Although, position remains the most important. A variable in the mm -hmm. aerodynamic equation. We bring someone like you into the mix. Mm -hmm. What are like the prime directives that we're starting off with? Mm -hmm. What are we trying to do? Yeah. Um, we try to streamline different sections of the bike. Uh, we try to tighten up the wheel frame so we have less of a wetted surface area. And uh, just we took, we took the bike apart component by component and looked at its influence on the flow field and deemed whether or not it was going to be important to the redesign or not. And the ones that we saw most important, we focused on those ones. And uh, we designed specific airfoil sections for each of the components, depending on uh, where they were on the bike and the type of flow that they were going to see. I think the greatest innovation with that bike is the, 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 what you came up with, you guys. The, you, they rendered the aerodynamic profile in a horizontal plane. Yeah. Right. So they, they made the horizontal plane the most aerodynamic. So it's not a, a, a perpendicular to the tube, it's actually horizontal, the way the air flows. So yeah. That was brilliant. It's in line. It's actually in line with the way the air is flowing. With, with other bikes, I mean, your tube is a straight section with a lot of other bikes. On the down tube, we'll use as an example, right? Mm -hmm. So that is, it's a straight loft. That tube has a consistent cross-section all the way up. But the way we designed the bike and the way we started it was developing, like, airfoils, like, perfect airfoils that, that, right. that you worked on. Yeah, in a horizontal nature, so that instead of building a tube that was actually like this, ours are built like this, so that it's, it kind of makes sense. It's like common sense aerodynamics. Well, habitually when I design a bike, I start at the head tube, because the character is generally, like the character of a bicycle is generally at the head tube of the bike. Okay. And especially when it comes to our bikes, if you look at the previous chrono, there's a lot of character in the way the shapes interact at the head tubes. You have a certain bottom bracket width that you have to work with, you have certain dimensions you have to work with, you have the UCI standards. So we took the UCI standards, we developed the airfoils, you know, working back and forth, Danny and I, we developed countless airfoils so that those airfoils really, for the velocity that that bike moves at, can't really be any better. We added strength where it needed it, like we built a strong bottom bracket as yeah. well. I mean, that was part of the equity of the chrono was that that bottom bracket is solid. The power transfer is direct. This bike is made for athletes. Through our design iterations, we were able to improve what we were working with by 60%. And how does that pay off in the wind tunnel? Beautiful. Well, yeah, because because you're keeping the flow with the rider not on the bike, which is, I guess, one of the concerns, which we were looking at, you know, no rider, bike versus bike. Yeah. Uh, the flow will stay attached the whole way down around, right back to the seat. Yeah, you're going to go faster. You're going to... You're, there's going to be less effort involved, less fatigue, uh, more stability, uh, a more enjoyable ride. The, the pregnant word would be symbiosis. It, it wraps up everything. It has everything that anyone can want. It's custom, first and foremost. It's aero. It's sexy. It'll be light. It'll be stiff. It'll be DNA. It, it evolved from you. So it's perfect for you.